going on guys? This is Carl with Racer Red Channel. I'm currently in the Soldier Mountains. Riding the good stuff. against a lot of brush. I love trails like this. Really tight. You really feel like you're in the woods. As you can see down here on my handlebars, I've got my Onyx off-road maps going. Right now I'm tracking this ride. I've been here before, but I couldn't remember exactly how to get to the entrance. This is a very ambiguous entrance. Pretty tough trail to get to. of the day on my inflatable raft running around with the kids doing a little bit of fishing caught a whole bunch of fish drove the ambulance back to camp and then oh. assuming oh uh, what happened there Anyways, I'd see if I could get to the end of this trail before it's dark out. Explore around a little bit. Now this is... The lower section isn't the trail, I don't think. Sometimes an elk or deer can make a trail and really throw things off. Off-camera goodness here.
That looks like it could stab me. Could have just gone through it, but I don't really want to get stabbed. Let's see if I can do this without breaking my handguard off. about riding if you ever go with somebody who knows a trail system just because they can get through it a lot easier than you it doesn't necessarily mean they're a better rider it just means that they know every angle to take on that trail already and that means a lot if you know the angles to take if you know what's coming up Otherwise, he ran into some weird issues on the trail. Like the one I just ran into. And I don't remember this trail. There's lots of off camber here. Sticking to the side hills. I am running a brand new tire on the back I have a tubeless system on the back I'll be switching over to super heavy-duty tubes on pretty much all my bikes I still go back and forth though I don't know I might be better off just Sticking with a bib on the rear, just on the rear, and then I can run a super heavy duty on the front. That way, I can really smack in this stuff and not have to worry about flats. the trail. <laughs> this one is pretty scarce. Takes a little trail navigation so like I said I'm running my app this time on my bars so I have, all I have to do is look down to really make sure that I'm going the right direction what's sometimes tough about a trail like this is you get the brush pushing up against you and it pushes you towards the downhill side 
You have to kind of choose whether you just want to get it scraped up or if you want to risk sliding that front tire off the edge. I usually opt for getting scraped up more so than the other. Lost the front end a little bit right there. That's the danger of dropping off the downhill. Like it when it's a lush forest like this. This is prime single track in here. The lesser the better. The more shade the better. The smell changes, the air changes. It feels cooler in here even if the sun is below the mountains. Linkage on your shock isn't always ideal. Just catching that linkage on there. The trail just took a hard left.
All right, guys, I just wanted to thank my Patreon supporters. That would be Lance Darnell, Jim Jolson Jr., Kurt Kinghorn, Daniel Rausch, Brian Thomason, Wade James, Moto Creek, Nathan Young, Jason Froling. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thank you.